Continuing on with our basic truth tables, uh, we're going to look at the conditional and the biconditional now. So here, this is our conditional. I'm going to set up my truth table as I did with all the previous ones. True, false, true, false in my rightmost variable. My next one is going to follow the pattern true, true, false, false. Now our conditional essentially says if p is true, if whatever my first variable is in my conditional statement here, if that first one is true, then it implies that the second one is true. So when p is true, this is pretty straightforward. Here, p is true implies q is true. Well, my truth table agrees with that, so it's true. Here, p is true implying that q is true, but q is actually false. So that makes my statement false. These last two are a little more interesting. Here, p is false. So since p is false, I really can't say anything about q. This statement only tells me if p is q, if, excuse me, p is true, then q is true. Since p is false, it's not telling me anything about q. So by default, both these statements are true because it's not really saying anything, essentially. P is false, so I don't know anything about Q. So by default, these answers are true. Our biconditional, we follow kind of a similar logic. Biconditional is essentially the conditional P implies Q and the conditional Q implies P. So I'm going to set up my truth table in my normal manner here. Now here, if P is true, then Q is true. That's true. If Q is true, then P is true. That's true. So I'm happy both directions, it's true. This is my if and only if. So if P is true, if and only if Q is true. So this is true. Here, P implies Q, one of my directions, is false. P is true, but Q is false, as we can see over here. If I have P is true, Q is false, then my whole statement is false. So my statement's already um, false at this point. In this one, P implies Q is true because P is false. But going the other direction, Q implies P Q is true, but P is false. So that would be a false statement. Lastly, we have both P and Q are false. So P implies Q would be by default true because it's not saying anything essentially. And Q implies P by default would also be true because it's not saying anything that's incorrect. So my entire statement here is true. So these are our basic truth tables, and we'll refer to those over and over again throughout uh, the uh, more complicated truth tables.